Okay, so the foot is at the zero position right now, underneath the, the bearing, as you can see. So here's 45. 45 is the length of the shoulder to the um, motor axle. So that's why it's straight right now. And 100. So 100 is 100 millimeters from the bearing. So put the ruler. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. This is 100 and. Possibly you can see that this is right underneath the bearing. And here's a negative number. So a negative number goes in, uh, inside. So this is uh, 50 millimeters or five centimeters away from the bearing inside. So my bracket's in the way a little bit, but here we go. Possibly you can see that this is five uh, centimeters underneath the bearing. Um, and here's zero again underneath the bearing. Okay, so I've just update, uh, updated the code for the dynamic angle. So if you remember interpolation from before, now every time I send a new position, all the motors are going to interpolate to that position. So they should all stop at the same time. So. Ideally, the foot should be moving as straight as possible, but this isn't necessarily the case. Um, but everything should stop at the, uh, at the same time. So that's 100. Here's 0. And here's 45. 150. Uh, you may have seen that this went underneath a little bit, so that needs to be fixed still. Here's zero again, and negative uh, 30 this time. So that seems to all be working somewhat well. I'll have to fix the interpolation, but uh, you get the idea.